What's up everyone, my name is Mike, and today we're gonna to be checking out a power bank so powerful that you could jump your car from it. So this is the Gulu G2000 power bank. It provides more than enough power to jumpstart a 12 valve gas or diesel engine with 2000 peak amps of starting power, as well as the ability to charge all the tech in your backpacks and pockets too. Now, as I said, it does have the ability to jumpstart your car. The issue is I didn't have any car to test it on and uh, no one swung by to let me try either. So we're gonna take their word for it. However, that being said, if you do actually need to jump your car, it comes with jumper cables. You just open up the flap on the side of the power bank, plug in your jumper cables, turn it on, and then you're ready to jump your car. Now the power bank itself comes in a nice carrying case that has multiple pockets allowing you to nicely organize all the accessories that it comes with. It obviously comes with the power bank, it comes with the manual, a strong braided USB-C micro USB cable, and another USB-C to USB-C cable. It comes with a smart jumper cable, and it comes with the USB-C home charger base, which you can use the USB-C to USB-C cable to charge charge the power bank or charge your devices from. Now the power bank is not only super powerful, but it looks stylish too. I'm actually using it right now to charge my tablet, which has my script on it because I uh, forgot to charge it before this video. And I had no wall outlet close enough that I can charge it and keep an eye on it. So decided to use it. And I've got to say it's powerful, it does its job and it looks cool too. Like look at those colors, that looks so nice. As you can see, I kind of like red and black. Now it also has two USB ports allowing you to charge multiple devices at once and a type C input that allows you to either charge your power bank or you can use the double-ended cable to charge your devices as well. Hook up your phone or other device and then click the on button then it begins charging. Now that aside, it also has an LED flashlight allowing you to see in those situations where you might need some extra light. For instance, if it's dark and you left your lights on in your car and then your battery dies and you need to be able to see your battery to hook up your jumper cables in order to jump it, this device comes in handy. Because now while you're using it to jump your car, you can also use the flashlight feature to see where to actually hook it up. In order to use the LED flashlight, you simply hold down the power button until the light turns on. Then you can click it again for a strobe light. and click it again for a slower strobe light. Then if you click it one more time, it shuts off the light entirely. And I've gotta say, the flashlight is actually strong enough that it's quite useful. Now that we're done with the specifics of this power bank, I decided to put it to the test. And to do that, I waited until my phone died completely and then plugged in my phone to see how long it took to fully charge. It went from zero to 100% in less than three hours. And if that wasn't cool enough, the power bank still had all four bars of charge lit up. It wasn't until the next day that it dropped down to three bars. And as I said, I am using it now it still has three out of four bars and I've used it quite a bit today. I've charged my cameras, I charged my tablet, my phone, and I uh, used it the day before on my phone and used it a couple more times before that. And it's still three out of four bars charged. That's crazy. Now that I see how much charge my devices have been able to get, charging my phone to 100%, charging three devices at once, charging my tablet, charging my cameras, it definitely makes sense that it has enough power to jump your car. Now again, I didn't test it, but seeing how strong and powerful this thing actually is, I have no doubt about its ability to jump a car. If I had to guess, I'm gonna be using this probably for the next week before I have to charge it again. I'd like to see how many full charges I can get off my phone, but honestly, I don't know if I have enough time to make this video because it will take take me uh, far too long to get those charges and wait for my phone to die to see how long it actually takes to kill this power bank. Which makes me think if Pokemon Go was still as relevant, you'd be able to play that game forever. Are any of you guys on Team Valor? Yeah. You guys suck! <laughs> <laughs> So I wish this product was out a year ago when that was uh, super popular. So there's really not much more that needs to be said. This power bank looks great. It has an awesome case with tons of pockets for organization. It has a ton of power, enough so that you could jump your car. It has a flashlight and the ability to charge three devices at once or your device multiple times on a single charge. And also I've got to say from a personal standpoint, before I got this, I didn't really think it'd be something I would use a whole lot. I've had smaller power banks that I haven't used either because I'll use it once and then it dies and I forget about it and I forget to charge it. This, I charged it to make the video and I keep on catching myself using it. <laughs> Today I went out to go film and I picked up my GoPro and it was completely dead. And I was trying to think 
think of a way is like, can I charge it now on the wall for like five minutes while I pack up the car and then maybe plug it in the car? I was like trying to think of a way to get just enough battery so I could film. I was like, if only there was a way. And I was like, wait! I ran out and I grabbed this and I got my battery charged enough and held it with me on the run so that way I can keep the GoPro charged and actually get the shots I needed to. So this thing came in handy and I didn't have to worry about charging it because it has such a high battery capacity. So uh, for forgetful people like me, this thing is perfect. And lastly, I think I'm going to get a second one to just keep in the back of our car and keep fully charged. That way if something does happen and we get in a situation where our car dies and we need to find a way to jump our car. We we always have just that little bit of power in the back that we don't need to worry about getting a second person finding someone to jump off of and we can have the safety protection our car as well as be able to charge your devices if our phone dies we need to call for help very cool device definitely would recommend it if you want to check it out for yourself we have a link down in the description below but anyways guys that's it for me today i'm going to keep this bad boy plugged in and keep on charging my devices and continue writing scripts without having to be tethered to a wall so anyways that being said i'll see you guys soon See ya.